Welcome everyone to the talk. It's great that everybody um, is here. Um, I think there are two seats, but everything else is booked out. <laughs> so today we will talk about the state of green software and cloud native. And you might think, why are we here? We both. Um, we are both with the technical advisory group from the CNCF on environmental sustainability, as you can see on the slides in below. So you might have joined um, yesterday the keynotes um, where we have uh, two talks, two, two keynotes on, on sustainability. And we are from the TAG giving this talk. Um, so just for clarification. Um, my name is Leo, I'm a student and I'm also working for Liquid Reply. I'm doing a bunch of open source work. Um, I'm an ambassador for the CNCF, um, led the Kubernetes release team and it's it's awesome to be here and Kara is with me Kara I'm Kara Delia and I am part of Red Hat I'm a principal community architect focusing on climate sustainability and financial services especially around sustainable finance I sit in our office of the CTO and uh, am part of the or I'm a technical lead in the tag nice all right I think that's your slide why does sustainability matter? <laughs> um, so if you're not familiar or just a level set with sustainability, there are two important things to be aware of, and that's the 2023 20, Agenda for Sustainable Development. There are actually 16 goals around that, and it's uh, essentially what you're thinking of for your, for your ESG, for environment, for sustainability, and then, or pardon me, social governance, and then also governance is the G. And then the Paris Agreement, which is also for, um, also known as the Paris Climate Accord Agreement. And so the Paris Agreement is focused around the temperature when you were talking about greenhouse gas and carbon emissions. And then the agenda for sustainable development is going to be more of the regulation that is associated for sustainability. And there are 16 of them. They were implemented by the UN in September of 2015. Okay, and for the CNCF, um, you might wonder, what is the tag? What does it like? How does it fit in the CNCF landscape? So, as an end consumer, you are not really uh, aware of the internals how the CNCF works. So, this is just an overview to um, get the idea of what we are actually working on. So, um, you are already aware. I mean, you are at KubeCon, so you know all these cool projects, sandbox projects, incubating projects, graduating projects which are on the right side. And uh, in the CNCF, we need to um, kind of oversight all these projects and need to um, make sure that the ecosystem is mature and it's, it's nice and it's good, developing in a nice way. And we want to connect projects and develop standards and everything. So there's a group of people in the technical oversight committee. A couple of these are also on the keynote stage, for example, or giving talks. So you might be already know, know some from the TUC committee, and the TUC is extended by tags. So you can see all those cool uh, icons. Um, and we now added last last fall the sustainability tag. So the whale, the whale down there, the, that's that's us. Um, and we we work. So every tag works with the projects, and is as I said, like focusing on one domain. And um, yeah, we now created the tag. We are super excited. Um. So with our charter, we, as Leo mentioned, started last fall. Um, we were accepted in right before KubeCon North America. And our goal is to advocate for and develop um, sustainability initiatives within cloud native uh, technologies. We have an extensive charter on our GitHub repo and especially is going to help what we might not necessarily focus on. So um, we are in, in, and it's something I mentioned in the keynote yesterday, is we're, we're really focused on is cross collab collaborating with other um, initiatives like the Green Software Foundation, OS Climate, um, other open source projects that are climate aligned so that we can um, be able to create some best practices and cohesion among the projects. And we also are working on, um, and it's in proposal phase, but some best practice, best practices as a checklist 
Um, right now, we're not as focused. Uh, we are not focused on code, but it doesn't mean that that's not what's coming down the pike. We are just forming and norming, and so um, I hope that that is um, an entry point for anyone to feel like that they can get involved because um, we want to make sure that this is on everybody's agenda. And also, one of the things that was mentioned in our tag meeting, which we had here on site, is uh, a way to go back and talk to your peers or talk to your the businesses that you work with to be able to understand what the value of sustainability is in cloud native and how it can uh, um, how it can be um, attributed back to your your development goals. All right. So as we mentioned two times already, we started in fall, so there's not a lot of time, but I mean, plenty of time to kick off some initiatives. And um, the first thing, uh, I think this is like for every tag, the first thing to do, look, in, look at the landscape, look what we have right now. Where's the CNCF standing with sustainability? Do we already have projects uh, in the ecosystem? And we have, um, and this is also discussed on some later slides, um, a first 0 0.1 version about the landscape. So this is not not a final version, as you can already see from from the versioning number. Um, so it's pretty much also a call to to you or everybody who is interested in this topic to also check if we miss something. Is there like some domain or some tool out there which we need to put on the landscape? Um, but we will dig into this a little bit later. We are also collecting best practices for Kubernetes, obviously, because Kubernetes is this main source this main project where a lot of other um, projects are based on. So um, I think influencing um, how Kubernetes best practices are is, is one of our main main goals. And we are collecting um, ideas and we are in the process of writing a white paper, which we, I mean, I don't want to give a date, but maybe end of this year, this will take a lot of time because we will also want to get it right. And we will also want to have enough discussion and review time. Um, and we also kick-started kick or started the brainstorming of a maturity model. So you might be aware the CNCF has a maturity model for a CNCF maturity model. <laughs> and uh, it does not mention any sustainability related things yet, um, but it should. So we need to, we need to uh, expand, uh, expand on that or maybe also define our own maturity model. We are in the brainstorming phase, so anything probably can happen. <laughs> um, and as we already uh, said, we are collaborating with other organizations and giving talks or just helping fellow uh, contributors to raise awareness about this topic and, and so on. So if you, if you want, for example, um, propose some, I don't know if you have like some idea, some blog post idea, I don't know, you want to, as Nikki, for example, in the tag does, um, mix sustainability with GitOps. This is a great place also in the tag to just bring up your ideas and we discuss it. Maybe some of the uh, core maintainers or core uh, folks at the tag want to guide or, or want to um, lift up this project. Um, that's a great place. So feel free to open an issue. Um, yeah. So at last year's KubeCon, we had put into um, market the, a survey that we had come up with just to get an initial understanding of where folks are with in their sustainability journey and, um, and how it's uh, impacted in their day to day. So we had 49 responses and the, um, just to uh, be transparent, the survey was in market for about five weeks. And right here, you do see 67% coming from Europe and 24% coming from North America. Um, one of the things that um, is to be mindful with this survey is it was a good starting place and is a good starting place. We will be doing more surveys uh, so that we can have a larger um, uh, statistical reference point. So I wouldn't necessarily take this as that Europe is more, <laughs> um, not just because I'm from the States, but that Europe is more focused, but there are more regulations coming out of the EU. Um, and so that's where I think you're going to see, uh, I think next year we'll definitely see more coming from North America, especially being that they're globally, um, uh, globally transferred companies. 
Uh, but you know, we here we have uh, the industries that we were able to to obviously talk to. Software technology is um, the number one we had 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 talked to, but uh, in financial services and consulting, showing high numbers is what are high numbers for our um, for our statistics here. So, next slide, please. One of the questions um, that was key was around um, how is this affecting your system architecture? And so, um, you know, from this, I think it's interesting that, you know, obviously focusing on the software best practices is, is very high. Um, but then also the other piece is that just not even being considered is, is still pretty high as well. Um, and so, you know, figuring out uh, how we can get this on even more on folks, uh, I guess, day to day, um, day to day, that they can be able to understand how this can impact their business, and not just this from a business standpoint, but also just from your to day, day to day, and your development. Did you have any other thoughts on this, Leo? No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have, I think this is also on this slide, right? We have um, yes. larger report, a lot of more data to it. But as you can see already on, on, the, on the first slide on, on the survey, we just have like 49 responses. So for us, this is not probably not enough data to really gouge like where we are. Um, but I think it's like a first indication maybe um, also something that we could quickly put together. Um, by founding also the um, the tag in, in fall, um, so a survey you can you can throw it together and just gauge very quickly. Um, but probably more um, surveys in the future would be would be helpful. Right. So moving a little bit in, into the direction of the landscape. So I think one thing which is very interesting to um, consider or to understand is there's a lot of like passive things which we already do, which is very nice for the environment, so to say. So if you think about, I don't know, how we deployed 20 years ago software, we didn't have so much containers or there weren't no any containers and virtualization and so on. So all these passive strategies in technology which improve the utilization also are good for the environment because you're getting more out of the resources which you put in. But the difference is between active and passive that you don't really put the environment into the driving seat. So we don't, we didn't develop containers because we are concerned about sustainability. We develop containers because something else, maybe performance, blah, 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 and so on, all these other reasons. And um, the active measures right now, this is also what we put in the landscape, are they are developing towards sustainability. They are having new features put in into their software because they are concerned about sustainability. Um, so, just something to consider on your side, um, to keep in mind. Right, so this is um, a mind map about the landscape, like a very rough overview. Um, we also have um, a link later in the slides to the entire document, which is very long. But it, um, as I said earlier, this is like a 0 0.1 version, so probably there's a lot of things missing. I was talking to someone um, earlier about networking for example and be this is not really represented right now in the landscape but it should so this there's some some blank spots definitely so we need to work on that um, this is for now what we have <laughs> and as soon as we are get more comfortable we have maybe a couple of more versions then we will also push it out maybe as a general overview of the sustainability so, but as you can already see um, down there, there's data centers listed. So even if the CNCF does not really work with hardware directly, so to say, we are more focused on the software side and things, data centers are obviously so crucial to sustainability because, I mean, this is where your software runs, right? So this is where your energy is consumed at the end, where your IT resources are, are at. So. Um, even if the CNCF maybe does not really work directly, like how to manage your data center, how to design your data center, we have this on the map. Um, we don't propose standards for in this direction, but, but it's still relevant for us. 
um, I think for us, the um, focus on the tooling side, infrastructure tooling, observability tooling and methodologies is a little bit heavier. So um, yesterday, for example, if you joined the keynotes, we had um, a keynote about KEDA, um, which falls under scaling, so um, which is very nice uh, to see that also Microsoft and some other big companies are now pushing their open source tools into this direction. And um, right, so I think observability right now is one of the hotter topics because without observability, you cannot take any measures. You need to be aware, like, how does your data look like? Is like, how much energy do you consume right now? Without this data, without this observability, you cannot really influence influence anything else. Um, so, there's that. And maybe one thing for the methodologies. So we already mentioned the Green Software Foundation. So there are some other foundations out there, not just the Green Software Foundation, who are working on methodologies. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel everywhere. We just need maybe to like put the cloud native flavor onto it, or maybe, I don't know, put it into a different kind of light. Um, so we will collaborate, or we are already collaborating with these foundations to um, don't do like duplicate the work. <laughs> um, Right, and two tools which I think are very interesting. Maybe you already heard of it if you're interested in this space. Um, yesterday, Kara and Huamin talked about Kepler, um, a very interesting project um, for Kubernetes to measure uh, the energy consumption and I think also carbon emissions. And they have some very cool, like, custom tools you can um, then um, put it together in multiple different ways and have also a model server so you can train your own AI, um, models um, to um, get the best assumptions for your energy energy consumption and carbon emissions. So I think this is very cool. Um, and then there's also another project, Scafandre, which is French, and I think I'm getting better at pronouncing it. <laughs> but um, it's, it's sim similar, it's also observability, so you can deploy it not just in Kubernetes, but it's also on bare metal. Um, to just get the data and expose it as um, open telemetry metrics which you can consume from Prometheus. And if you are interested, there is um, the creator of Scafandre on the 3rd of May. So in our regular tech meeting, he will just show us the project, give some more technical depth to it. Um, so we have like more room also for this tool. And so we from the tech also know in detail how, like, maybe what does he need, where are the bottlenecks, how does it work, blah, 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 and so on. So you can, if you're interested, join the tag meeting, ask any questions to the um, creator directly, or um, afterwards um, drop, drop uh, a message in Slack. And, right, as I said, this is a 0 0.1, something is missing, you can open up a PR, we, um, we would really appreciate it um, because this is a community-driven uh, group. We do this uh, next to, for me, next to studying, next to work, uh, next to everything. So we need uh, all hands possible. Um, feel free to, don't be intimidated. Uh, just open a PR or an issue or drop by. We are a friendly, friendly uh, environment. <laughs> so there's that. And that's actually already it. We have, I think, a little bit of time also for questions. So join the tag efforts. We have a Slack Slack um, channel, which is very important if you want to get uh, involved and want to check what is the latest things happening. Um, there's also the GitHub repository, which you find all of this information, the landscape document, the surveys, everything else. And we also have a website, which is tag and nsustainability.cncf.io, um, which you can also check out if you like. It'll also include the actual Zoom to the meeting, so I think that might be a part of the QR code, but I just wanted to let you know it's in, it definitely isn't good right, out. Yeah. yeah, we meet every two weeks, and after the this uh, conference, we will also have like a like a special a special meeting just to introduce the tag in a more... Then we have like an hour, it's a little bit more time if somebody has questions how to get started 
So we will push notifications into the Slack channel if you want to join. And um, yeah, thank you for for being here. I hope it was interesting, and we have we have time for questions. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks. thanks. Uh, Leo, uh, the uh, the green. I don't know if this is a stupid question, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Anyway. Yeah, no, so, it's a stupid question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the Green Software Foundation is also under the Linux Foundation, if I'm not mistaken, as is the CNCF. Is that right? The Green I Software don't, Foundation. I don't think so. No, the Green Software don't Foundation is separate. I think. Yeah, Green Software is un, uh, created by Microsoft, so it's separate from the. No, LF. I mean the Green Software Foundation. I believe it's separate. It, it is separate. I think. Is it no? also an organization with Microsoft? So there are a lot of. I don't of believe it's part of the LF. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. It is? Okay, it, it is. is. I'm getting confirmation. Oh, it is. It is Microsoft. Okay. Okay, sorry. I was just. Like, my question was going to be if you have any connection with them or if you're yes, working with we them. Have. So um, we have quite a good connection, I would say, because we also. Um, Marlo, who is uh, also one of the co chairs, um, a colleague, colleague of hers, basically the, the, the head of the uh, Green Software Foundation. So we have from the business side, um, because they are colleagues, quite a good connection. And also we are working on the maturity model, for example, together because they are driving something in the similar direction. Um, so in terms of sustainability, I think a lot of um, efforts from the Green Software Foundation overlap with our efforts. So it would be not wise to not collaborate with them and we already have quite a good um, like communication channel, I would say. But as, I, as we mentioned, we are like half, half a year old, <laughs> so, so to say. So there's like some, some things, um, some, um, some um, time to settle and to, I don't know, get to know the folks and everything. So um, with time, this collaboration will be stronger, but there's already, um, it's already happening, so. Yeah. I think there was another question. Thank you. Uh, first of all, the report about the landscape. You shared a QR code before this slide. It gave me 404. So, just a comment. That, for me, was a 404. But, ah, um, this was a 404? Yeah. I'm and the second question okay. you mentioned about networking not being part of the landscape. And I would say that for obvious reasons it should be there, but can you explain more on that like why it should why should it be there? So um wait um could, could you maybe repeat the question? I don't yeah, think so. So in the landscape, in the yes. tag landscape, uh, there was in the part of the component was scal uh, scalability um, yeah, scalability mm. or other ah, stuff. I, Networking was not there, right. and you said, like, oh. it's not here, but it should be here. I go, yeah. I think it's right. right. It should yes. be there. But why? Uh, yeah, because we, we are limited on time, and yeah. now QCon is happening, and we want to push something out. And um, But we, we said we are not... We want to show you um, the state, which we are at right now, and we know there are some, some gaps. Um, but right now we didn't have like someone very invested into network at our group. Um, but I know a lot of folks who are. So it just needs a little bit more time to get it right. So um, that, that's why it, it's not listed. Um, because it's not mentioned right now explicitly in the landscape document. But yeah. Yeah, and that's where your contributions will be very valuable. And welcome. Uh, maybe one, just one last remark. Uh, I just joined the CNCF uh, tag uh, channel. Uh, where should I, where could I get like an invite for the meeting uh, to the tag meeting? That's a good question. So um, on the GitHub repository, there's a um, how to reach out or contact um, section. So you can you can check it there. Or if you um, are in the Slack channel, there are bookmarks, bookmarks to the meeting notes. Everything is in general. Everything is public. So you can reach it. Um, so there's like different different um, options. Also on the tag website. So either way, you should stumble across this link. 
and yeah. And you have access to previous meetings as well, not just the notes, but the videos or recordings of them. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think I remember you saying you would work with the CNCF projects. Do you have any idea how that working together, how the collaboration could look like? Thank you. Yeah. So um, right now, for example, the Falco project reached out to us and they asked us how can we measure from release to release how our energy consumption, for example, is going up, going down, how, how does it like evolve over time? They want to know our features which we are building, our enhancement and so on, how does it reflect? And I think this is like an awesome um, opportunity for us also to get in contact, like how can we maybe define, uh, have like maybe pipeline set up or something like this, um, how um, the, mat um, the sustainability maturity of projects develop over time. So there's, a, for example, a standard, SCI standard from the Green Software Foundation, which we are thinking about applying. But as this is like, this is like in, the, in the future, we are planning to start the discussion with Falco after, after KubeCon. So I think this is maybe some interesting reporting on our side, maybe next KubeCon. Mm -hmm. um, but we are, we are in, in, in contact and we want to try out first like which standards, because there are like some in research papers, but also from foundations, they propose like different kinds of strategies, how to um, um, get the sustainability, how to calculate the sustainability of projects. And we want to try it out um, because um, it's, it's like a greenfield project for us. Kind of, yeah. And just to tag on to that, just like um, Leo had mentioned earlier, we are working with the, um, we have liaisons that are part of the GitOps SIG as well. And so we, they have an environmental um, sustainability working group within that. So they're a liaison to make sure that they're coming back and, and sharing what's happening in there. So where there's um, syn synergy, <laughs> uh, synergy there as well, the collaboration. I know you had a question. Okay. Um, uh, do you know already the, the other projects in uh, CNCF uh, space, if they are usable, like keep green or uh, open cost? So what do you think about them? Because this would be for me the natural path to go over the costs and so. Right. So um, Cube, um, Cube Green, we had a presentation from Cube Green, I think a couple of, I don't know, a month ago or so. So we are in contact also with those projects. So we, we are reaching out to um, the landscape. So some, some projects which we find very interesting and just getting to know also the creators and see where they're at and so on. And um, right, so you mentioned cost and, and probably then also FinOps and everything this direction. So, I, I think right now this is like our best best um, way to calculate your energy consumption or carbon emissions if you don't have the APIs from the cloud provider because right now they don't build the APIs for us to get the real data. So we can only work with what we have and we have a uh, cost and this is uh, the best correlation. Um, so I think there's definitely an opportunity to also work with these foundations um, together and to see how can we best guess, get this calculation or this correlation um, right? But in the long run, I think we need to um, get the cloud providers and data center providers into a direction that they expose us the data. We need transparency because just with cost, we can never we can never get get there where we need to need to be. So it's 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 just like halfway. It's like a compromise. Uh, and I think we need to need to push um, and I think some cloud providers are doing already a good job and as we also heard and as, as, as we know for example in some other um, areas they are investing in this um, direction so I think in the future we will have hopefully <laughs> some APIs which we can consume directly but in the meantime we can use cost uh, yeah, but, but yeah. it was, would be easier than CNCF is already using these uh, products to report about yeah. their yeah. 
climate. Also. I mean, every every project can 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 evolve into maybe also another direction. That's 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 also good. So I mean, um, if if I think there's like an like a good opportunity for FinOps tools into developing also in the sustainability area. I think I think so. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we are the la the the last persons who would uh, keep them down. So this right. is like would be awesome if if they're doing that. So, <laughs> but. Know if you want to mention, All right, awesome. Yeah, you were mentioning the transparency around the, the cloud providers. Yeah. Uh, Google is now G8 uh, the carbon footprint. Uh, AWS is talking about it for a few years now. <laughs> uh, do you talk with them on these topics? Because you you mentioned that traceability is the key on uh, on this matter, yeah. and that we mainly consume uh, cloud providers right now. Yeah. Do you have some insight uh, from from what they do, and do you just keep it on the radar just to to, to know everything that is going on with them? So we we have connections to these cloud providers, and um, so everybody of us already has like some like personal contacts with some of them. But we also, from the CNCF side, have contacts to the cloud provider. So, um, as a tag, we will go over the CNCF and have the CNCF uh, connections kind of reach out and just brainstorm how can we establish standards in the space and, and so on. And I think um, the CNCF is in a good spot for that to have like a neutral ground for this discussion, to have also standards across cloud providers and to push into this direction. Um, but yeah, we already have contacts and we um, know more or less what is going on. Um, we are not working for Google or I'm not, so I don't know exactly details, but um, I'm, I'm, I appreciate that they are investing a lot of uh, manpower and, and woman power and every power <laughs> they have into this direction. So um, yeah. Yeah, just tagging on to that. So there are public data sets that are provided by the cloud um, providers. Um, and that is something that we would consider. And then there's also pro other projects within um, the LF that or Linux Foundation, such as LF Energy, that we'll be collaborating with and getting more data from as well. Um, and to the gentleman talking about open cost, we are actually having, or I, don't, I think it was Max and I, um, Max is a uh, co-chair um, for the TAG. We had a conversation with him yesterday, or Monday, yeah. whatever day. Um, about um, oh no it was was it you and I yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so um, sorry about that we will um, be working with them as well but again it's all about just you know, really right now what we need is we need more contributors and um, and definitely asking these questions are important of us just to keep us honest and thinking about um, other parts of, that we're not addressing and would like. Hello. Um, quick question. So um, I get it's early days, lots of things still to cover. Um, just to give me a flavour of kind of how early days. What sort of things are on the agenda for the next meeting? If that would give me. A kind of so so the meeting agenda is is public, so you can check it out. So I I mentioned a Scafandra demo is on the agenda. I also mentioned that we have like a special meeting. So the special meeting. Um, we, we plan to host this af after every like bigger conference so because we expect a lot of new faces and we want to have like enough time for everybody um, so if you join this uh, meeting we will just go over what is the tag um, why are you here what do you um, like to contribute on where can you help um, us where can we help you and so on and yeah and I would also say that um, we have a lot of content coming out of the tag so the, obviously the landscape, we have um, a proposal for a checklist of best practices, um, and then also a, a, a slew of blog posts like uh, Leo was mentioning. So um, definitely early days, but not, um, not incubating. Any more questions? This might be our last question. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, just a short question. Um, how are you going to tackle greenwashing and everything? Because it's quite 
a big platform. Uh, I think many companies are more looking to appear green, and in yeah. some cases, it might be tricky to. Yeah, well. uh, so the greenwashing discussion, we have it every now and then, so this is like something we cannot. I mean, we, we don't want to get rid of it, um, but this is like obviously something which is happening in the industry and we don't want to be like, we don't want to um, like um, give like room for greenwashing. So, um, so we don't have, I don't know. I would say also there's not, greenwashing is tricky because there's not a defined definition. There's a perception and there's a subjectivity around it, um, but I think through regulation, um, that's going to help with it as well, um, and uh, you're going to see that a lot, especially in the financial services industry. There's already been um, plenty of fines <laughs> lended towards um, the ESG disclosures and um, greenwashing associated with them, but I, really at this point, um, the tag is not necessarily going to uh, approach greenwashing because of the sensitivity of the topic, really. And we want to make sure that people are coming in <laughs> and helping. Good question. Though. Right. I think that's, that was the last question, but we will probably hang out a little yeah. bit longer before the um, in the hallway there. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. Um, otherwise, thanks for, for coming by, stopping by.